You found your dream home, you signed a contract, and now that home is as good as yours. Or maybe you're selling your home and you found your dream buyer and you signed a contract and now you are on your way. Or are you? Today, we're going to be talking about the three hurdles to buying or selling a home. And I'm going to give you things you can do to make sure you don't have any hiccups along the way. My name is Mark J. Schmidt. I'm with Remax Country and MoveMeMark.com, and I've been in the real estate industry since 2002. My goal is to help you get the most out of the real estate market and your home. So feel free to check out my channel where I've got hundreds of videos that are designed to do just that. Right now, let's talk about those three hurdles to buying or selling a home. Now, the hurdles I'm going to be telling you about are for real estate transactions here in the state of New Jersey. If you're in another state, you may have similar hurdles you have to get through, but this video should give you a good overview of what you can expect. So let's back up a second. You found your dream home or you found your dream buyer and you've signed a contract. Just signing a contract alone is not going to get you to the finish line. The first hurdle you're going to come across is attorney review. Both parties have the right to have an attorney review the contract and see if there's anything in there that they would like removed or like added. Basically, your attorney is going to be uh, representing you and safeguarding your interests from that moment until the end of the transaction when you get to the closing. So you definitely want to have an attorney look over your contract. Now, during the attorney review period, either party can cancel the contract for any reason. So that means if a uh, you as a buyer find another home that you like better, you could cancel the deal and go buy this other home. Now, as a seller, if you get another offer on your home and you find it to be a better offer, better terms, better price, whatever, uh, you can kill that deal with that buyer and take that second buyer's offer. So again, that's the first hurdle, attorney review, Either party can cancel the contract for any reason. The second hurdle is home inspections. Now, the buyer has the right to have a home inspection on the home that they're buying. And once that home inspection is completed, they're probably going to find some things and they may look to make a request of things that they would like addressed. Uh, a lot of times these things are things that they didn't notice while they were in the home previously or things they couldn't have known were a problem. Maybe there's a problem with a, a leaky sink or a, uh, maybe there's a toilet that's, uh, that needs to be tightened, uh, or it could be something serious. Maybe there's a, an electrical panel uh, that is outdated or has double taps or whatever. There's a bunch of things it could be. They can make a request of things that they'd like you to repair. Now, the way the contract is written, the seller doesn't have to make any repairs and the buyer doesn't have to buy anything. So if you can't come to terms on home inspection issues, the buyer has the right to walk away. Now, normally people are pretty reasonable about these things. They want to work these things out, but if they can't work them out, the deal will die. That is hurdle number two. Now, the third hurdle is something called the mortgage contingency clause. That's a clause in the contract that lays out when the buyer has to have their full mortgage commitment from their lender. It's typically due 30 days from the end of attorney review. Now, why would they put that clause in the contract? Well, first, if the buyer can't get a mortgage anymore, if they no longer qualify, if there was a change in their financial status, they can't be forced to buy a home that they can no longer afford. Now, on the flip side, the seller has the right to cancel the contract because if the buyer can't get a mortgage, if they no longer qualify, and they're still trying to shop around and get someone else to give them a mortgage, you as the seller are not held to that contract in perpetuity. You have the right to cancel that contract as well. Now, the good news is this. It's very rare for a transaction to fall apart due to a, a mortgage contingency clause. Uh, I've only seen it happen once since I started selling real estate in 2002. Now, the way to safeguard against that is to just keep an eye on your dates. When I have a, a buyer or a seller, uh, and I know that that mortgage commitment is going to be due on a certain date, I want to make sure it's in by that date so we don't have any issues. Now, sometimes maybe the lender will get a little delayed. Maybe there will be uh, a delay in an appraisal happening, something like that. And so we won't have the commitment by that date. In that regard, the attorneys can send out a letter uh, requesting 
an extension of the mortgage contingency clause. Uh, they don't have to be granted an extension, but usually they're granted the extension. Uh, most times, all the parties just want to get to the closing table. If it takes a little longer, it takes a little longer. So those are the three hurdles to buying or selling a home here in New Jersey. Attorney review, remember, either party can cancel the contract for any reason. Uh, number two is home inspection. If you can't come to terms on home inspection issues, the buyer can walk away. And number three is the mortgage contingency clause. If the buyer doesn't have that mortgage commitment by that date, either party can cancel the contract. Now listen, if you have questions about the buying or selling process or how to get the most out of your home, there's a fantastic resource. It's my website. You can find me at www.movememark.com. Thanks so much for watching. If you missed our last episode, I've got it right here for you. And here's another episode that YouTube thinks you should watch. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that circle and subscribe so I can keep bringing you awesome content like this. And I'll see you next time for more real estate awesomeness. You have a great week.